Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here and on today's review for you, Dr. Jekyll, meet yourself. Mr. Hyde is a 7.8% stout from Greenbush Brewing Company in Sawyer, Michigan. Greenbush is known for putting out some pretty quality brews. The only one I've reviewed from them was an early review for the channel. It was Brother Benjamin, which is an IPA. I've been meaning to get more of their beer in the channel for a while now, and today is the day with Mr. Hyde. Now, Greenbush officially calls this a coffee cream stout, but I'm just gonna go with the simplified version and call it a stout. So let's take a look at the label and we'll waste no more time getting a look at this beer. Fun fact, Robert Louis Stevenson wrote the original Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and burn the first manuscript because he wasn't satisfied with the original. So let's take a look at the label here. Uh, this says it is Mr. Hyde Ale Brewed with Coffee. Now it doesn't tell you the style specifically here on, on, the, on the label itself. I went to their website and they said it's a coffee cream stout. It's alcohol 7.8% by volume, 67 IBU. And it has a government warning on one side. And on the other side, it says Greenbush, which is in Sawyer, Michigan. Here at Greenbush, we've always known that good ideas often start over beer. We also know that there's nothing like taking a good idea too far. You're reading this, so you must be one of us. Enjoy the first step and taking your own idea too far. And it has uh, this really, they have a lot, they're, they're, so their labels are all kind of uniform. They all have this kind of similar style to it. This has a kind of like a negative drawing in the background. It's got almost like a paint splatter kind of effect. And it has this man who looks like he's turning into Mr. Hyde, which is obviously the evil alter ego of Dr. Jekyll. And uh, yeah, that's it. So the top, the can, the cap, the can. The cap is the typical Greenbush green cap with their tree logo. I don't think they have any other caps any other way. Let's go ahead and crack, crack the cap. Wow, having a hard time talking right now. And we'll get our glass in the frame here. Let's get a better nose on the bottle. Has a lot of good coffee scents. Smells like a kind of a sweet coffee. It's got a really nice scent to it. I like it a lot. It's got a really nice kind of strong, but but s strong but sweet coffee smell. It's kind of like the coffee candies that you might have as a kid. They don't really taste like coffee, but it has the smell of coffee, and this definitely smells like coffee. So let's go ahead and pour this. It's coming very nice and brown, kind of a reddish brown out of the bottle here. Pouring it, not much of a head. Uh, it's and what head is there is dissipating very quickly as you can see from the overhead It was really thin. There's a little bit on the edge here Let's go ahead and pick this up and hold it up to the light. It's got a bit of a reddish brownish quality to it It's obviously very opaque, but it has a uh, kind of a reddish hue to it. So let's put a better nose here on the glass Getting a lot more it's almost exclusively coffee smell that I'm getting out of this There's also, there's also another smell in the background, but I'm not quite sure what it is. I can't really pick it out, but I can, it, it, coffee is the overwhelming scent of the day on this beer, so I'm ready to dive right in. Cheers. That is almost exclusively coffee taste. So it's got a really nice dark, Mmm, I'm picking up even more kind of flavors as I, as I let it sit there on my tongue. It's got this really ni nice dark roast coffee taste to it. But it also has, on the tail end, so it starts off as kind of like a sweet kind of coffee flavor, uh, almost like cream, like a creamy kind of coffee. And then it evolves and it gets a little bit more, a little bit more roasty, a little bit more smoky, a little bit more of a dark roasted coffee taste. That's just a really nice tasting stout. If you like dark coffee, if you like um, 
dark coffee stouts with just a tiny hint of like a sweet, creamy kind of taste in there. The sweet, creamy part comes out in the beginning of the taste. And then as you swallow and it kind of, the aftertaste kind of settles in. That's when that really nice, dark coffee, dark roasted coffee flavor comes through. And I would almost dare to say that because of that sweet kind of creamy taste in there, it mixes with that coffee taste and it almost com combines to create almost a dark chocolate kind of taste in there as well. I've been having a lot of stouts recently. And the one thing is that I've noticed is that a lot of them are more kind of like on the bur bourbon barrel aged, or they want to go in this other kind of angle. Mr. Hyde by Greenbush Brewing is a beer that if you're a stout fan and you want to kind of go back to what stouts, what, you know, what I think of a coffee stout in my mind, it tastes like this. It's just a really good, solid, definitely super solid coffee stout. It has all the, the makings of a coffee stout. It has a big coffee flavor, nice dark roasted coffee tastes, and a sweet, creamy kind of layer on top that you kind of break through in the very beginning. And then it just all fades into a just a beautiful dark coffee flavor, nice dark roasted maltiness. Uh, like I said, you almost get this kind of dark chocolate taste with that kind of sweet creamy taste and dark chocolate taste. This is a beer that I can find myself, that I will find myself going back to over and over when I want that. Just kind of that really just good coffee stout taste. This is like, this is, I would almost dare to say that, the, I say dare to say a lot. I would almost say that this is a perfect example of a really just super solid coffee stout. All right, friends, that has been Mr. Hyde from Greenbush Brewing. Have you had this or what's your favorite Greenbush brew? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you like Michigan beer, you might want to consider subscribing to this channel because I'm here talking Michigan beer every Tuesday and Thursday. You might wonder your, to yourself, what else is out there in the state? You can watch this channel and find out. I'm trying stuff from all over the state. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries, and most importantly, don't forget to try Treat yourself to a little giraffe therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.